And now it's time for The Doctor Is In. Hello, I'm April Douglas for today's Doctor Is In, and we are talking about the dangers of fentanyl, a very important subject. And today I have Mr. Alan Broom with USA Children's and Women's Hospital. Pharmacist, thank you for being here. Thank you, I appreciate the opportunity. Now we're hearing all about this. First of all, what is fentanyl? Well, it's a synthetic opioid. It's been used for a number of years, uh, typically in a hospital for pain relief um, in surgery or in the ICUs. Um, and it's been a mainstay for a long, long time in the hospital systems. Of course, the use has changed from its original use, and now mm -hmm. we're seeing it in, on, in street drugs. Why so? It, this is dangerous, dangerous Absolutely. for children and adults. Absolutely, it's very dangerous. Uh, right now, about uh, two thirds of all overdose deaths are related to fentanyl, um, and that's it's become just almost epidemic. Why do you think people, drug dealers, are putting, if you could speak for them, are yeah. putting this in drugs? Why are we seeing it in drugs? Well, it, number one, it creates a more addictive product. You know, whether, you know, you can have a discussion about marijuana and addictive properties and all things, but this actually makes it more addictive and makes more of a better, quote unquote, customer for, for the uh, dealers. Now, are you seeing this in more than just marijuana? Oh, you'll see it in just about any drug, you know, oral drugs, um, tablets, any, it, just about anything. And you have the uh, rash of what looks like candy being out there and has fentanyl in it. I mean, that is scary as a parent. Absolutely. And it takes a small amount, right? No, it doesn't take much at all. And actually, it's about two milligrams to start having an overdose. And that's about, think of the edge of a pencil, the very tip of a pencil. That's enough to actually cause an overdose. Why is it so important to raise awareness about this? Why are well, you here today talking about it, it? It, it? A lot of people just aren't aware, right? You see it on the news, but really, it's just so prevalent. It's becoming a real problem with our teens and our, and our younger children. And kids with social media now have access to things that we never did as kids. And so really bringing awareness to the parents and to the younger people to make sure they understand you don't need to just take something from someone. You don't just need to trust. Only take things from trusted sources. Don't pick things up off the ground and take it, things like that. So, and if someone is interested in finding out more about this, where can they go for this information? Well, we're partnering with oddsralabama.org. There's a lot of really good information there for parents and for uh, healthcare professionals. All right, so much more to talk about. Um, we're, we hope you'll join us on our Facebook page where we're going to talk with Mr. Allen Broom about the dangers of fentanyl.